gunman crawled up on a nearby roof before shooting at Trump, witnesses say. We noticed a guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. So we're standing there, you know, we're pointing, we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. You want to know what's fascinating? That this wasn't hard to come by information pieced together by the diligent efforts of a fact-finding organization. This was actionable intelligence delivered to us by a sweaty bumpkin wearing a Trump 2024 visor. Oh, some heads are going to roll. Then you have the Secret Service already passing the blame to the police. It's both their fault. They both dropped the ball. Whatever happened to overlapping security measures and redundancies? Maybe there wasn't any police on the roof because there wasn't any ass up there. If there was ass on the roof, they would have been all over it. A witness has described the unfathomable security lapse that led up to the apparent assassination attempt on Donald Trump at a rally Saturday evening, saying he repeatedly tried to alert cops to the existence of a rifle-wielding man on a rooftop just outside the event. The witness, identified only as Greg, told the BBC that he was having a party outside the rally and was planning to walk up through a nearby field and listen to Trump when he started speaking. But as he was walking up about five minutes into Trump's speech, we noticed the guy bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50 feet away from us. The man clearly had a rifle, Greg said, so we started trying to alert nearby cops and Secret Service agents who were stationed on the ground and on the roof of a barn. There's been a ton of interviews with ex-military and ex-intelligence, and a particular one that I was watching went on to say that the rifle was well within the range to land a fatal shot to Trump without a scope, with only moderate training and I think that's a hell of a thing to leave up the chance if the other guy is good enough to hit his mark now what I would like to know is if they could have taken this guy alive did they have to kill him because now we have no intelligence and we have no interrogation we're pointing at the guy crawling up the roof the police are down there running on the ground we're like hey man there's a guy on the roof with a rifle and the police were like huh right they didn't know what was going on Greg said his group kept trying to flag down law enforcement with little success Next thing you know, I'm thinking to myself, why is Trump still speaking? Why have they not pulled him off the stage? I'm standing there pointing at the gunman for, you know, two or three minutes. Two or three minutes in that scenario is a lifetime. The Secret Service is looking at us from the top of the barn. I'm pointing at the roof, just standing here like this. Next thing you know, five shots came out. Greg estimated the shooter was on the roof in plain view for at least three or four minutes before opening fire. This is a lifetime of time here. He said it's possible that the agents on top of the barn and on the ground could couldn't see the man because of the slope of the roof. Why aren't there secret service on all the roofs, he asked, seeming incredulous. This is not a big place. That is a very good question, Greg. You want to talk about terrible optics? This man's eyewitness account just might single-handedly make the way they handled this look worse than the assassination attempt itself. After shots were fired, secret service agents blew the shooter's head off. Greg said some 20-year-old dork that came out on the wrong side of puberty that wasn't popular in high school for circulating on social media from other witnesses corroborated Greg's account showing the suspected shooter lying motionless on the roof. The Butler County District Attorney confirmed to the Associated Press that one person attending the rally was killed along with the shooter. That's terrible in itself. Trump appeared to be hit in the air by an unknown object as he was speaking and was whisked away by Secret Service agents with blood dipping from his right ear. He was taken to a medical facility to be checked but was fine, his spokesperson said. And no one was trying to prioritize getting any information or any answers from this guy that's like three four l's in one outing from preparation to security to intelligence all the way down to boots on the ground response